Hello! We're back with more Cake and D. This is Evolved Mission 4. Alright, ready? Our soil is being tainted by the metal soles of robotic feet. The machines hold an area of our land that we want back. Unfortunately, they are abominable, but also dangerous. They guard the area with weapons as large as their worth is small. To show our defiance of these monstrosities, we will destroy their largest weapon with our smallest, the martyrs, who are willing to give their lives to the cause. When they succeed, wipe the robot's shamed presence from the area. <laughs> he just like turns away, he's like, yeah. Yeah, fuck so that. So the martyrs, I forgot about them. Yeah. They're like kamikaze units yeah. that go into buildings and destroy them. No, no, the they basically no? just blow up. Uh, you're oh, th you're thinking so they about just this, blow this, up. Like saboteurs, yeah, yeah. They, they literally just explode. Yeah. Um, and and Corinne and I were talking about like the, the big tech units and the UFOs and stuff. Um, uh, one of the, one, the only real counter to the UFO is to have the UFO suck up a kamikaze unit oh, yeah. and it would take it down instantly. And yeah, that was the yeah, only yeah, yeah. effective counter for it. Only effective. Oh man, that's so brilliant. Just yeah. have like a few kamikaze units like around here. Yeah, exactly. they, they have no choice. Oh man, that's so good. And try, yeah, try and aggro the, uh, the, the UFO to like oh, attack man, it. Cause they're fucking strong as shit, yeah. man. Um, other than that, I don't really see a very like potent use for them because they're they're kind of expensive. And, and they can die. Yeah, and and if one of them blows up, they all blow up. <laughs> <laughs> so like I, I don't know, kamikaze drops are oh my God. are pretty good too. You have to look at the art in this. Okay, so there's like really cool craters and shit, but then you look in the fucking like submerged like sewer acid and there's little bodies that are floating yeah, and yeah. like Wisdom trees that have been brain. cut down are like half submerged like the aesthetics of it and like bones like fucking just put a yeah, rib cage like, yeah, just so, and just I mean it's just a random, random rib cage rib. bro yeah. like, that's okay yeah, it's, it's like this thing dissolved here don't come in yeah and there's like little bubbles oh my god this game is and oh and the destructed like destruct uh, the, the destroyed building yeah I always was really impressed yeah. with that like, like even there there's like a car that's like kind of like half like melted into the ground. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of cars actually, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a like a decent amount of really, really, really good solid like art assets that yeah. make this game like look incredible. Yeah. And, and, and I don't like, I don't understand people are, people always say like games like this will look bad. I'm like, the, you know, graphically, like graphics are not like great, but the aesthetic, everything's good. How is this not pretty? Yeah, yeah. Like how is this not more gorgeous than like, and, like I think this is more stuckly pleasing than StarCraft, and it is because it's a pre-rendered background. The guns of the guns of Navajo, Navajo. Yeah, I, I think I was just checking the uh, the mission briefing there. Oh. The, this this was still when I was like I was doing like single takes of missions. Like you'll see me you'll uh, in the future or when I talk about um, or when we did like Mega Man and Subterranea, uh, there were. Mission, or sorry, there were times where I had to do like I had to just restart all over again because like I I screwed up or something like that, and that that will happen for these in the later missions. But I'm pretty sure this was just like a single take that I did. Like I just went in and like beat this mission, and that's just because like I remember for the most part I remember this mission well. I don't remember this game, but then again I didn't play Evolved. I was I was Survivors most of the time. Even then, your knowledge nine. was better than me. Better than I. Yeah. 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 I was I was pretty good for like for a kid for RTS. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of funny that he wasn't like really good at StarCraft either. Well, like it took us till StarCraft two. Like when I went into StarCraft two, like I had no like I played StarCraft one. I knew what the units were and I knew how to like make buildings and shit. But that was like the extent of my knowledge. Yeah. It was, like. You know, playing, like, I couldn't even beat the campaign, like, I was so bad. Yeah. So, when I, like, started playing, like, I had to learn everything from yeah. scratch, and, and I only got into Day 9, like, after, like, 150 do, days. Do you remember, do you remember, it was, like, I think it was about four or five months after Wings of Liberty came out that we discovered that there had been a pro scene for StarCraft 1, oh, and like there was a developed... Yeah, yeah, that was, like... <laughs> That that it was it had like existed, 
And I like I had no concept of this when I was in high school. Like I, I'd imagine like if I knew that there was there was like competitive StarCraft that I would have been all into it. But you know what I did? I had I had one account. Like there were you'd hear about people who would like make oh, new accounts all the time. I had one account that had thirteen hundred wins and like two hundred losses and all I played was fastest and BGH. Dude, and I was a I'm god. Like, no, I was a god. Too. Dude, I was fucking like 14 and I played fast enough and Kyle and I would play and you would be like crazy and build 16 half trees and build shit. Yeah. And I was like, when people lost, they're like, whoa, that's pretty good. I've been like, I've been playing two weeks and you just got beat by a 13 year old girl. How yeah. do you feel? All right. I was like the coolest fucking 13 year old ever. Mm -hmm. Two Absolutely. weeks and I became like so good at fastest. Yeah. I was so happy with yeah. this. And, and Fastest was really fun. I was I, I played Protoss at uh, StarCraft 1. So my strategy was to, um, like, I, I had this, like, this uh, grid. square. Yeah, this grid square thing that, that encompassed your base, right? And it was, like, every other, like, I, had, I would go pylon, and then it would leave enough space for a cannon. Pylon, then, cannon, pylon, yeah, cannon, yeah. pylon, cannon, pylon, cannon. It cannon. would stretch all the way around in this, like, kind of, like, half box mm -hmm. thing. And then it would be gateways all the way around. So everything was tight. Yeah. So it would basically be like a gateway, or it'd be a, a pylon, cannon, pylon, gateway kind of thing, and then you repeat. Yeah. That's exactly. kind of like, like the, the tile yeah. that you had. And then you would make it like a corner. And then you would just make it like out towards. Kyle, exactly. Kyle exactly. should go into StarCraft and like just <laughs> make it and be like post a picture. Maybe, maybe. It's hard to explain. Well, eventually, eventually mm -hmm. we'll actually play some StarCraft 1, yeah. some fastest map, oh, and I'll, you'll, you'll see. Um, and, and my strategy was to rush for the Citadel and get uh, Zealot Legs and like plus one as fast as I could. And I would just, I was so good about just like constantly throwing Zealots. And, and it, was, it was an evolution. It went from um, mass Zealots and then Dragoons. And then I would I would build rows of stargates and I would start going mass scout. And I know like if you played the original StarCraft, like if you if you played, you know, the actual competitive, you're like scouts. But scouts are terrible. Not if you have 36 of them. If you have 36 scouts with 333, they can rip apart anything. They're so good. Um, if you if, if you play BGH too. Uh, tank scout. Oh, I love tank scouts so much. Like you have your, you have an ally that builds a lot of tanks, and you just build. Or no, you didn't even need an ally. You could just go and steal an SCV and make your own tanks if you were, if the game went on long enough, kind of thing. But you basically would just mass scout, and it would be this unstoppable army of scout. Like you get one or two arbiters, but like seriously, just mass scout, man. So good, so powerful. To mention that, like when you're young, when you're like 12, to like. 14 or whatever and you're playing a game and you realize you know you're playing against another human being your tiny little heart is like pumping so goddamn fast that it's like i i couldn't handle 1v1 if i knew i was playing someone i'd freak the fuck out it's just like scary shit man i don't know whether you got that yeah well i mean i i got over like the anxiety I kind of thing um in, in high school like i played i was in a band right and i played on stage a lot so that that I'm helped recital. Scary though. Yeah, yeah, but you never really did many of them. Whereas, like, I played, I was on stage like once a month at least for all of high school playing drums. Right? Yeah, but I didn't play StarCraft in high school. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's what that's, that's, you said. You were like, oh, my 13 year old brain was like. Was 13, dude, I don't even know. Well, I, was, I, think, I guess I that was like was right like, before high school. Yeah, I think it was like a few years. Because in high school, like, that's when I got like many answers. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and you played Nancy. Yeah, Dude, uh, Nancy the new Nancy Drew games? Some of them. Fuck. Yeah, oh my god. The Cr water's Cr edge. Straight up screamed last night. <laughs> she, you, I don't know what, what Nancy Drew you were playing. Like, anyway, she, it, there was this, there was this like, you know, it was like a scene from The Ring where she like, she looked in a mirror and there was like this little like creepy girl standing in the corner and then she turned around and there was nothing there and then she turned back and the face had like turned and then it did this like creepy like walk forward and then broke the, the glass of the mirror and Corinne just straight up screamed. <laughs> it was so funny. It was, no, it was scary. It was terrifying. I, I would have been, I would have like... <laughs> If I wasn't laughing so hard, I might have been scared too. But it was just, it was just like, like I was like, oh my god, I know what's coming, and I just, I just like looked over and watched Corinne react to this. 
<laughs> I didn't like it at all. Oh my god. I was like, dude, and the stomp on this is a scary thing. Yeah, well, I mean, I like, I don't, I, I played Amnesia, like, Oh my before God. before there was like a huge bandwagon for it, I think it was like maybe like six months after the game came out, yeah. and I I listened to it. I was like alone in my room by myself with like the lights off and my speakers cranked. And I I have a really good sound system because I, I fancy myself an audio tech. So he has like, tower speakers. Yeah, I have tower speakers and and an amp, right? Like and a receiver. Way high. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like, okay, so early on, like, the first part of Amnesia, like, it's not, like, outright scary, right? Because they're trying to, like, be like, we don't want to scare you off yet. Yeah, we're just setting some atmosphere. Just this, there's nothing, we hear some noises and shit, and then you go into this room, and, like, for some reason, like, everything goes dark, and you, go, and you fall on the ground, and your, your head tilts, and there's a sinking feeling, and all you hear is the yeah, yeah. pitch, as if you're, like, deaf. And you're just sinking, and like everything's like fucking turning when you're like looking at it. Everything's like compressing, yeah. and then you get back up. And dude, if you sh dude, if you can't get past that point, don't play the game. That was fucking scary. <laughs> that was like, dude, there's so much scary shit in that game. I and there's an expansion I've just yeah. seen that yeah. you don't have to buy. It's really cool too. The fucking game is so scary. I actually haven't played that yet. Um, I, I really, I really thought that game was like incredible. Like, you should it, do a playthrough of it. Yeah. Well, you playing, and then I could be like. <laughs> oh, of uh, Catherine, or whatever. It's Justine, I think. Justine, okay. I don't, why, I don't know. I, I think that's what it's called, and we can do one of Kyle playing it, and then I could be giggling. Kyle could be like. Let's <laughs> get <laughs> out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. That will be belly fun. <laughs> maybe. You know. All right, fine. I already drank rum. I'm already set up for this. <laughs> Right now, already excited. That's like another thing. Like I have to be drinking rum when I'm playing scary games because like I just don't get scared otherwise. Normally, yeah. I'm pretty anti-scared. Well, I'm, I'm like I'm I played so many Nancy Drew that fuck I'm desensitized to it. Yeah. Well, no, you just, you fuck that. You straight up screamed <laughs> last night. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sick. Fair enough. Um, I, when, I, when I played um, Amnesia for the first time, like I, I knew it was going to be a scary game, and there was going to be like a lot of. But I try, I tried to like intentionally like let myself feel the fear kind of thing. If like, you're if you're going into fucking Amnesia or scary game being like my goal is not to get scared, then you defeat the purpose of the game. Yeah, yeah. You kind like, of, you have to like leave yourself open to like. Oh my god, like suspension of disbelief kind yeah. of thing, right? Yeah, be like, I'm here right now, yeah. and there's like something fucking falling. Yeah. Like, be like fucking day nine, be a man. <laughs> man mode! Actually, he wasn't a man. He, was, he had like, he had like 10,000 people, like, on, a, on the stream there. <laughs> I don't know. Try, try doing it alone. He probably would have. No, I know. Well, I still screamed when I was doing no, that was that was funny. I think that's the most hilarious. If I'm story. ever sad and angry, I just watch the moment where D9 yells, "I'm a man." <laughs> like that is like the funniest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. D9 is like my favorite person ever for that. <laughs> D9 hearts. Because it's hearts. scared. Yeah. It's scary. It's scared. Okay. Okay. So that <laughs> ends this episode of KKND post commentary. All right, GG.